It's your girl, Tiana. I'm going to be me, and I am coming at you on this morning with a recipe for breakfast. So, what I'm, you can have this for breakfast, breakfast or dinner, the way that I'm going to make this. Okay, so what I'm going to be making is some fried fish smothered in gravy with some cheesy grits and some eggs. That's what we're going to be having for breakfast today. But like I said, this is a dinner or brunch, however you want to do it. But I'm going to show y'all how y'all do this right here. I done had it before, but not with the, not with the fish that I'm going to be using today. The fish that I had it with is um is catfish. But I'm going to be doing it with some tilapia fish today. So, I want to say welcome to all my new subscribers and welcome back to all my faithful lawyer family members. If you was new here, only thing I ask you to do is put the ding on the dong and ring the doorbell. When I say that, that means hit the thumbs up, the like button. Go ahead on and show your girl some love and subscribe. And make sure you hit that notification bell and set it to all so you'll be notified each and every time I come live or upload a video, which is every day. Alright, so I also have a second channel. The name of my second channel is Boss Up Cleaning, B O S S U P Cleaning, C L E A. -E. I, -N -G. I would love if you go over to that channel and show my second channel some love and when you go over there and you subscribe uh, make sure that you let me know that you have subscribed if you would like me to welcome you to the family I thank you for coming by here and I hope you enjoy yourself what's up family oh I forgot to tell y'all this is a live video so it's gonna be pr probably a little long what's up family hey hold on let me switch my chat over Hey, it's now or never, Shaquille, Sandra, um, Miss Brenda, Kiki, Virginia, Brosia, Eclectic Elegance, Tanya, Miss Marsha, MJ, Davisha, Warm Blush, Honey Tea, uh, Dee Dee. Yes, I did, girl. I slept good, honey. Okay. I slept good, y'all. So, today, what I'm going to be making, y'all. Y'all probably heard it when I was doing the intro. But today, I love you too, boo. First of all, happy uh, Friday, y'all. God allowed us another day. He spared us just one more day, y'all. And we say thank you for another day. Hey, Lolita, we just say thank you for another day. We thank you for life, strength, our minds. We thank you for the power. We thank you, you know, the electricity is what I'm talking about. We thank you for having shelter. We thank the father, we thank our father for food in our refrigerator, even if it ain't much. But we could just we just we just say thank you just for that. Okay. So and I thank y'all for being here. I thank y'all for just coming one more time on over here with your sugar boo. Okay, we gotta get honest to God, honey, because he he is the one that we need to put first. And I just say thank you for being for 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 the for him for I just thank him for just being the man that he is. That loving, that 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 forgiving, that that man that just show us mercy and grace. I just thank God for him. I thank God for him because at the end of the day, he didn't have to be the way that he is. But he is because he loves us so much. And I thank God that he loved me that much just to, you know, forgive me when I need you to be forgiven. And just love me with all my flaws and all. And wait on me to get right. So that's more than enough to be thankful for. Okay? So, alright. So now that I'm kind of like, you know, in my little groove. Hold up. One minute. Whoo. Yes, I didn't read this one. Hold on. All right. Your daughter got an appointment today. Good morning, Dee Dee. All right. So now so now we in our little groove. We up, we going. Y'all see your sugar boo on the day. You just got back from the grocery store stocking up on the essentials meat and ice cream. <laughs> you better, girl. <laughs> you better. Hey, Tanya. <laughs> okay. So, here's the word for the day, y'all. Today is Friday, but this one right here says count, and I'm going to share this on my thing. I didn't sh I didn't share it, though. This is my first time reading. This one says count your blessings. Count your blessings instead of the crosses. Count your gains instead of the losses. Count your joys instead of your woes. Count your friends instead of your foes. 
Count your smiles instead of your tears. Count your courage instead of your fears. Count your full years instead of your lean. Count your kind deeds instead of your mean. Count your health instead of your wealth. Count on God instead of yourself. Count your blessings. Woo! That was a good one right there. That was a good one, y'all. I liked it, that one. One more time. Let me read that again. Good morning, Miss Lynn Lane. Good morning. Okay. Count your blessings. We ain't talking about Zodiac. We talking about this count your blessings. Count your blessings instead of your crossings. Count your gains instead of your losses. Count your joys instead of your woes. Count your, count your friends instead of your foes. Count your smiles instead of your tears. Count your courage instead of your fears. Count your full years instead of your lean. Count your kind deeds instead of your mean. Count your health instead of your wealth. Count, your, count on God instead of yourself. Count your blessings. You better. Girl! Oh, thank you, Lord, for that. Thank you, Jesus. That, oh, child. That feel good. It do. It feels good to read that. Thank you. But here's one for Friday. Let's see. You ready? Praying you have a blessed Friday. Let go and let God and let go and let God handle them. Let go of your heart, your hurts, and let God heal you. Let go of your fear and let God sustain you. Let go of your worries and let God bless you. Amen. One more time. Prayer. You have a blessed Friday. Let go and let God. That's my favorite song by um. Let go and let God. Let go and let God. Y'all know who I'm talking about? Just let go. That's my favorite song. Oh, that's my favorite song. Praying you have a blessed Friday. Let go and let God. Let go of your problems and let God handle them. Let go of your hurt and let God heal you. Let go of your fear and let God sustain you. Let go of your worries and let God bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for that. Thank you. So, let go, y'all, and count your blessings. That's what you do. Let it go. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Let it go. Put it in God's hands. He want it. Put it in his hands. He, do, he, he wants you to call on him. He wants you to depend on him. He wants you to know that he's going to do it for you. He wants you to know he's going to work that thing on out. So just let it go. Just let it go. And I'm telling myself that too. Just let it go. Just let it go. Because at the end of the day, oh, he's going to work it on out. He's going to build you back up. He going to make you a whole. He going to turn, he going to make you whole. He going to turn the situation around. He going to turn that frown into a smile. He going to give you that joy that you need back in your life and back in your heart. He going to give you that tap in that feet. He going to give you that praise that he need that that he need for you to give to him. He going to give you that. Cuz once God worked that thing going out for you, honey. Oh baby, you ain't gonna have nobody but praise for him because at the end of the day, he gonna show you that it was him, not you, not nobody, not nobody else. Because he gets you in a point in your life where you gonna say to yourself, just when I thought this person or that person, my family, my daughter, my child, my whoever was gonna be here for me. They ain't going to be the one that be there. You're going to be to yourself. You're going to be down praying to him. You're going to be laying there asking him, Lord, t Lord, help me. Lord, help me. I ain't nothing I can do now. The people that I thought that was going to be there for me, they ain't here now. You're going to find yourself crying to him. You're going to find yourself talking to him more. And then they get, what's good morning, big baby boo? And good morning, Jane, though. But guess what? When you find yourself in that point, 
Tiana, I'll see you later. I'm very busy. All right, uh, cook it with Didi. When you find your good morning, uh, good morning, y'all. When you find yourself at that point where you low and you down and you out and you need him, you find yourself at a point where you know God, you you ain't you ain't got nobody to turn to but God. When you ain't got nobody to talk to but God, because the one that you thought that I was gonna have that listening ear one there. Plenty of times I done been there, y'all. On the phone, they ain't called me back because I needed just conversation. But it wasn't meant for me to sit there and talk to them. It was meant for me to talk to talk to talk to my father, talk to him and tell him what my problems is. Talk to him and let him know what it is that I need. That's why I felt like when nobody was there. Because it wasn't meant for them to be there. It was meant for me to turn to him. It was meant for him to ask him for what I want. It was meant for him to give it was meant for me to give my problems to him. He the only one that's going to be able to work that thing on out. And he wanted to show me, Tiana, I'm here for you. I'm here for you. Just give it to me. Just trust me with it. Trust me. Don't be looking for somebody that's supposed to be a friend. Don't look for them. Don't look for a family. Look for me. Look for me. Call on me. Tell me what you want. Tell me what it is that you got a problem with. Tell me where you need help at. Tell me. i help you. That's what he's saying. When you get when you looking for the ones that ain't there, that's what he's saying. Tell me. So when you find yourself in a place and you and you feel like ain't nobody there, just know it's not meant for them to be there because you need to tell God about it. Tell God about it. He wanna hear. I just say thank you. I just say I just I just thank him for this mind. I thank him for my understanding. I thank him for I, I thank God I thank God that I'm trying to get to know him better. I thank God that I, I I I talk about him as much as I do. I look for him as much as I do. I pay attention to him. Thank God for that. Because that's only building up my relationship and my relationship, my bond, my connection that I got with him. So as long as I can come and tell y'all. That that shows me, honey, Tiana, you believe him more and more. Tiana, you looking for him more and more. Tiana, you you know it's him it, it, more and more. You recognizing what it is that he doing. You know what I'm saying? So look for him. When it seems like ain't nobody around, they ain't meant to be around. When you call and ain't nobody picking up the phone or they supposed to call you back, it wasn't meant for them to call you back. Don't get in your feelings. I done been there. What's up, Miss Debbie? Don't get in your feelings. Hey, Miss Irene, don't get in your feelings. Don't even get in your feelings. Just start talking to him. Start talking to him. And then the more you talk to him, it ain't you ain't going to see it, but you need to learn to open your eyes. What's up, Kendra Boo? You need to learn to open your eyes. Pay attention to his signs. Pay attention to how he's working around you. He's working all around you. All around you. But only if you try to pay attention... I'm saying I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't hear you. Uh, so, yeah. As, as long as you know you done prayed to him, you done asked him for what you want, just know that God is working all the way around you. He working every day. But he going to let you see that in the time that you need to see it. What he done did for you. Or what he going to do for you. Or what you done asked him for. He gonna let you see that in the time that you need to see it, not in the time that you want him to show you, not in the time that you think that what you're going through is supposed to disappear or or go away, or go away. What you what you need help with, uh, or go away. And uh, listen. What we ask for, it ain't never in our time. It's all in his time. And his time is always the right time. Just know that. Count your blessings. Count your blessings. Don't worry about them fears. Good morning, Dunny. Like that thing say, don't worry about them fears. Don't worry about them struggles. Don't worry about that hate. Don't worry about no them, 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 uh, them haters. Don't worry, don't worry about what you're going through. Count your blessings. Count your blessings. Amen to that. All right. So, we finna cook some smothered fried fish. Mm -hmm. Some smothered, smothered fried fish and some grits. Let me go and get my pot real quick. And 
That's right. That is so right, good baby. But you know, it's a true saying that you ain't. That it's a true saying that we human. It's it's true that we human, and that we is gonna work. But the thing about it is, try to get yourself to the point where you don't worry. You got to grow yourself to that point. Grow yourself to the point that you ain't worried. So like, like Big Baby say, God don't want us to worry. He don't. He don't want. He don't want us. He don't want us to. He don't want. He don't want us to. The 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 hurt and all this stuff like that. Don't don't give you don't give you, don't give you. When you get, I'm gonna put it like this. When you give your problems to God. Try to learn to leave it there. Try to learn and leave it there. It's going to take time. It's going to take time. Because we still going to worry. Because we still looking for the change to come. It's coming. But it's going to come in his time. What's up, Chef and Mo? Thank y'all for ringing that doorbell. I appreciate y'all. It's going to come in his time. Anybody came up in here I didn't see. Good morning. Happy Friday to y'all. I hope y'all having a good day. But change going to come, y'all. Change going to come. In his time. He know when to do it. He know when to do it. Trust me. We just we just so impatient. We so impatient. We be looking for stuff to happen right then and there just because we said. No. Stuff, they don't work like that. Mm-mm. It don't work like that. At all. At all. But when we learn that, it don't work like that, then we'll learn to self how God works. We'll learn to accept that. And like I like I said a couple days ago, when you pray about something and, and that you're going through, when you're going through a storm and you pray about it, and it seemed like that, that storm just ain't ending, no went on forever, never, 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 never. But sometimes you gotta take a step back and look at that thing. Sometimes I feel like we is the reason why. The storm lasts for so long because you ain't learned nothing yet. So the quicker that you learn something from what you're going through, I feel like the quicker your storm will be over. See, everything is everything happens for a reason. Don't nothing. I don't give a good god dang if you like God if your lights got turned off and you and, and the neighbor come and bring you some money to pay the bill. You need to learn that God sent that person. You know what I'm saying? I mean, whatever situation that it is, y'all, don't nothing never happen for a reason. We, we, even though we all as adults, we've grown, or most of us, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, we still is his children. We still is his children, y'all. Oh, you hear me? Hold on. <laughs> I got me going in there, child. So, yeah. But, yeah. So, we as his children, y'all. Tiana, your blessing gift supposed to be in today. Okay, okay. So, um, yeah. We as his children, y'all. Just like your kids. Your kids never get too old to disrespect you, right? To 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 disrespect you, to be allowed to, right? So same thing with him. It don't matter how old we get. That's why I always get my understanding by comparing him to mother and father, y'all. Because the same rules and guidelines that you're supposed to have with biological mother and father, biological, non-biological. I'm just saying, the ones that is over you, the same rules and guidelines that they that you have for them it's the same rules that you have for god in heaven the same thing what makes it any different i don't see don't nothing makes it different only thing it is is the the ones that's here on earth they is te we is temporarily parents temporarily but like i said we is always his Forever. Forever. And never, 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 never. 
God, God allowed, God allowed us to see light. God allowed us to see. Good morning, Miss Barbara. God allowed, God allowed us to be here. God made that way for us to be here. God knew we was gonna be here. Each and every one of us. If it wasn't meant for us to be here, we wouldn't. But everybody got a day to go. But at the end of the day, you best believe when we when we leave, we going we going right back to him. We're going right back to him. And we ain't, and we definitely ain't going back with these messed up, crooked, all, all these different kind of ways. Oh, you're going to have you some act right. He chastising you not on earth. So imagine when you get in heaven. Oh, he going oh, he gonna, he gonna to be on your behind like white on rice. For real. And you're going to see him then. Okay. So that's how I get my understanding. I ain't got to read no Bible to get my understanding of how I'm supposed to do by God and stuff like that. That's how I get my understanding, y'all. I compare him to mother and father. That's who I compare him to. And so, whatever I don't want my parents see me doing, I don't, I don't do, I don't, I try not to do. And I'm trying not to do. And I'm trying to get better. I ain't perfect now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ain't none of us perfect. None. Not nobody. I won't care how sanctified you is. You ain't perfect. At all. But that's what makes us perfectly imperfect. Because we perfect enough for God. But wherever we need correction and fix that, he will fix us. So, I thank him for, for willing to work on me. And willing to help me get better. And grow. And we're and willing to uh, wait on me to, to get to know him. I'm trying to get there. I'm getting my own understanding, my own relationship with him. But I thank God for that. Yes, my anxiety was cutting up about it, about that. I know, okay, and ran to that closet and left it in his hands and made sure I was obedient. Exactly. Exactly. Because at the end of the day, y'all, what's for you is, is what's for you. Whether it's good or bad, what's for you is for you. And sometimes certain things is just meant because it's something for you to for something for you to get out of that. Whatever that something is, you know what it is. You just got it buried deep down on the inside somewhere. And you need to go in there and find it and pull it on up out of there. And work on that thing. Realize what it is. Good morning, Chef Brooklyn. Realize what it is. So that you can grow from that. So that you can get better. Let it out. Let it out. Whatever it is. It's something down in there that you need to let go. The reason why you're going through the way that you're going through. Let Pull it pull it on up out of there. Let that thing kind of, kind of surface. And give it to God. Because that's the only one that's going to help you get over that. The only one. You got stuff buried down in you from 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 when you was kids and stuff. It's stuff down in you that long from what somebody done did to you, from what somebody done said to you. Only the smallest little thing, y'all. You just don't you you be surprised what makes you not whole, what makes you not be that that person that you know that you want to be. You know what I'm saying? So. Find whatever that is. Reach down in there. Find it. I got things in me and God, and I'm pulling them out. I'm pulling them out and I thank God because I have got rid of the two, uh, two of the heaviest things I had on me, y'all. And I feel so much better. I feel so much better now I have let that come out. I feel so much better, y'all. And I thank God because I know it ain't nobody but God working on me. I pray and I ask him all the time, help me, Lord, be a better person. God, help me. Help me forgive. Help me forget. Help me learn. Help me help me love. Help me love the people that I think that I can't even love. That I don't even want to love. Help me, Lord. And the more I say it, the more he get, in, he get to working. Nothing is too much for him. Nothing. It don't matter if you feel if you feel that you coming to him too much every single day is something different. Still give it to him. Good morning, Miss Kathy. Give it to him. He want it. He want it because he 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 let me tell you something. He give you stuff. He 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 let you go through stuff because it's for you to learn 
And it's for him to show you who he is. He wants you to believe in him, but he ain't going to make you. He ain't going to make you believe in him. That is, we, that's why God is the perfect gentleman. God is so loving. He's so caring. God is patient with us. But God let you make your own decision on which path that you want to travel, which way that you want to go, what decisions that you want to make. It's up to you. Just like you say you grown, he let you be grown. But you make your own decisions too. You have the freedom and the right to do that. Even if, even if society try to take that away, but you still have a freedom and right with him. He, he, yeah. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna try to serve the devil and him at the same time. It don't work like that. That's just like you telling him that you want to do wrong and, and right at the same time. You want to steal, you want to kill and steal. You want to kill and, and love on, and love on them too. How you gonna, how that's gonna work? How you gonna want to kill somebody and love on them too? Uh uh, baby. No. It don't work like that. Make it make sense now. Which one you want to do? Now, I ain't, I ain't saying that you know. I, I, listen, y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. But like I said, God, God give y'all, um, the, the, y'all, God give y'all, um, the option to make the right decision. It's up to you. It is up to you. You 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 do you, when you when you find that you're trying to do something wrong, you better step back and think about that thing one time. Do I really need to do this? Because like I told y'all last night, the same treatment that you that you dish out to somebody else, exactly, the the same treatment that you dish out, the same. It's the tree is a reflection. You really, when you, whatever you did, cha cha, look at it. It's a mirror, baby. Ain't nothing but a reflection of what you're going to get back. So you better be careful what you did, cha. All the good that you did, cha, it's a reflection. All the bad that you did, cha, it's a reflection. Good morning, Trinis. It's a reflection. It's going to come back. Trust me. God wants you to do good. He going he gonna to show you he, he thank you for that. He going to reflect that right back on you. Nothing but good. The bad things that you did shout. The things that you do to people. Say to, about, say to people. All about people and all that stuff like that. It's going to come back. And I know that. I know we got bad ways. I know we do y'all. But just just ask God to help you. If you want to change it, ask God to help you. Ask him to help you get there. Ask him. You might got some attitude ways. I got some. But honey, I have to sometimes I have to I'm sorry. I ain't mean that. Sometimes I got to do that. I apologize. I let my feelings get in the way. I apologize. I acted the way that I acted. I have to do that sometimes, y'all. Because I know that what you say and what you do, it's going to come back on you. It's going to come back on you. But sometimes we speak so fast. We let our feelings get in the way of, of what we really should be saying. The way we really should be acting. And it's so easy, y'all, because you get so mad so fast. And before you know it, that other side just take over. You know what I'm saying? So just praying God can ask him to continue to help you. To humble yourself in the time that you need to. That's all you need is a little humbling. And I look at some people sometimes and I be like, dang, how they don't be getting mad? How they don't be getting upset? I do. I can't wait till I get like that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all just don't know. I can't wait till I get to the point where I just look at But anyway, my husband is one of the ones, y'all. It's like the more negativity that come his way, it's like he take that negativity and he and he just he just love it. He love it because at the end of the day, you looking stupid to him. And I can't wait till I get there, y'all. I cannot wait. 
But uh, I done got there a little bit, trying to. I'm getting there. And I am going to get there. My husband be saying, hey, Miss Lucille, my husband be saying sometimes, oh, I can't see how they always saying that they going to do this. And they saying that they going to do that. And they know they need their job. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait till I get that mind like he be thinking. He got that. He got that. You ain't finna bother me. Kind of attitude. He do. That's why I said we perfect for one another because he humble me when I need to. He do. And sometimes he'll let me carry on because he know when I get to a certain point, it ain't nothing I can say to her. So I might as well let her go on by the business and show up. <laughs> he know that. Exactly. You keep getting mixed messages about it. Well, if you keep getting mixed messages, then don't get it. Don't even get it. Because from what I heard, they say you could still get it even with getting it. So what's the purpose of getting it? Like I said, what's meant for you, it's meant for you. What's meant for you is meant for you. Hey, uh, Jesus girl, what's meant for you is meant for you. Ain't no way around it. Ain't no way around it. So like I say, don't feel. He gonna handle that thing. He gonna work it out. If it's meant for us to die, do you think we could stop that? We can't stop that. You can't stop nothing. Nothing that happens, y'all. You cannot stop it. Right. You can't, you cannot stop that. Whatever, whatever, whatever going to come your way, whatever's happening in your life, everything happens for a reason. I know this is a man-made thing and stuff like that, and we come in contact with it. But at the end of the day, y'all, y'all got to think about it like this. God already knew that this was going to happen. God already knew. Everything that happens in our life is already was in the plan, y'all. It was already in the plan. But sometimes, you know, certain things, you got to know how to uh, curve it. That's why I say we is given options. And with certain things, you got to know how to go around that thing. You know what I'm saying? Try to avoid what's coming at you full force and in, in high speed. You got to know which way to go. You got to know what's God, what's of God and what's not. Just because, just because y'all end up with that does not mean, does not mean that it was an already planned for your life. You know what I'm saying? That does not mean it was not already planned because like I said, God know everything. Don't take that to be something so bad especially when it ain't did what it's supposed to do to you you know what i'm saying don't take it to be something so bad and when it happened to me and my family if it do i ask god that i still think the same way you know what i'm saying i ask that i be i be strong about it and keep my eye on him because he's the one that's gonna bring you through that regardless if you get a vaccine or not he the one that's going to bring you through that. And that's just how it is. That's just how it is. You could take high blood pressure medication. Right? Make it make sense. You take high blood pressure medication and you still got it. People with cancer go and get treatment and they come back. Make it make sense. So what makes this any different? What makes it any different? Ain't nothing gonna make it different. Nothing. Thank y'all for ringing that doorbell. Yeah, y'all. I thank God. I thank God for these words. 
because I feel like it be him giving it to me, y'all. I done told y'all that. I done told y'all that. I believe God give me these words. Because I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. I, I didn't have this plan to come on and say to y'all. I don't plan nothing. I just go with my flow. Whatever God lay on my heart, that's what I say. That's exactly what I say. Whether somebody feel I should be saying it or not, that's on you. You don't say it. But I'm going to say what I feel God told me to say. I am. And if I was wrong about anything that I said when I said it, I ask that God forgive me. Because I don't want to, I ain't trying to tell nobody nothing wrong. And I'm not trying to deliver his words in the wrong way. I'm not. I ain't trying to give y'all nothing the wrong, the wrong thing. I ain't trying to say this just to pull people into my channel. I'm saying this because I love the Lord and I know what the Lord do for me. And I know by me telling this, it's helping somebody. Whether you feel if it's you or not, it's somebody watching. It ain't just you looking. And it ain't, and, and, and it ain't just me talking. I feel like God be speaking through me sometimes. He gives me those things to say. He put that on my mind because he know I'm going to come and say it. He know I'm going to come say it. Let me, let me tell y'all something I noticed too this morning. I noticed that uh, YouTube be taking my uh, views. I noticed that this morning. You know how when you uh, go and watch a channel and your channel be stuck on that same screen and then you come back and you refresh it, then the number change? Okay. This morning, I had realized that my views was at It was like 811 from last night. When I refreshed the page, it went down to 809. Show sure did. So, I believe YouTube be doing a lot of stuff, y'all. And I don't know what they reason for doing it, but they I, I think that they be doing some stuff. And when I noticed that right there, that ain't nobody but YouTube that did that. And that is not right. That is not right because we get over here and we work hard for these views and stuff. Yes, they did that. They did that. I was at 809 when I got up because it was must was stuck on the screen from last night. But then when I when I refreshed that page, it went down. I know it was at 811. And when I refreshed that page, it went down to 809. Just a pretty show did. Show did, y'all. I'm going to tell you no lie. I was going down. I'll see if it stayed the same. But you done messed around and let me see it went down. So I know it ain't nobody but y'all that's doing that. And that's messed up. That is so messed up. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm finna cook these grits. I done stood here and done talk, 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 talk. <laughs> and I got to do hair at 11 o'clock. <laughs> That's all right, though. That is all right. Y'all, we got our sipping paint tonight. I ain't sure what time. Just be ready, though. I might try to... I ain't sure what time yet. I ain't, ain't got no milk. Ooh, I'm making grits and I ain't got no milk. Ooh, I know mine. Okay. Ooh, they finna be cheesy. You gonna do the hell with the? Am I gonna do the hell with y'all? Um, I might. I might. Yeah, I might come on and talk with y'all. I don't know. I got to see. It just depends on that person. It depends on the person. And y'all know who it is. It's Angelica. So she probably ain't going to mind. 
she probably won't mind. I just got to see. Because it's going to be at 11 o'clock. So, that's either I might stay on here and just don't get off while I'm already on here now. That might be what I do because, like I said, that's a few minutes from now when she's supposed to be getting here. So, y'all going to be eating with me and everything when I do that. So I'm gonna make some smother fried fish and we only gonna have like one piece of that y'all gotta go get some more fish child one piece of fish and I, I, I took out some shrimp so we'll have some some shrimp to go with it but that's what I'm making smother fried, fried fish and shrimp hold on y'all
That I'm overlooking it. Got to be. We're gonna do this fried fish. Um, Ross, I get it from Ross. I'm about to put some butter in the grits. Thank y'all for coming. Everybody that's coming, I'm just gonna let you. It's not on yours nor mine. Anybody came in here? I did not. Uh, good morning. Oh, Miss Renee. truck and Tika. Good morning y'all. Good to see y'all. Thank y'all for coming this morning. Probably about afternoon your time. 1033. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord just the lady girls know she one of the ones that like to be on time. Alright so I'm going to just turn y'all this way real quick. Delay on a good way. Have a happen. She need to comb her hair a little bit more or something. Okay. So I got my fish right here already. I'm cooking the tilapia. If y'all want to try this, it's good with catfish. I don't try it with the catfish already.
Okay. So I'm gonna get me some oil over here in my pan. Just enough to fry this fish. On my shrimp, I'm going to add some mustard. On my fish, I'm going to add mustard. Um, and hot sauce. I'm gonna take a little complete seasoning, put it on my fish. I got some seasoned cornmeal, y'all, so I'm not gonna put nothing on that, on my uh, shrimp. I'm gonna crack one egg over them though. Mix this seasoning up. grits again. I like to cook my grits for a little while, y'all, but when your grits get thickened up, add you some milk to it. I like to add milk, but I ain't got no milk. But honey, they're going to be cheesy down. Okay. going to take me an egg and I'm going to crack it right over there. And then I'm just going to take it and just mix it right on in like that. All right. Just like so. Take your fish and you're gonna batter it up in your in your meal. And then we just gonna fry it. Just like you do when you're frying your chicken. Just go ahead on and get it fried. Tilapia, yeah, that's what I'm using. But it's good with catfish too. I never did it with a tilapia. Gonna drop it down and fry it up. Let it brown on both sides. Fry it crispy. Cause you're gonna smother it. So give it a little extra crisp to it. 
more than what you probably would like. Don't fry it too, too much and dry it out. Alright, so now I'm going to just take my fish, I mean my shrimp, and we just going to go ahead on. Y'all see me holding the empty bowl talking about my shrimp. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to take these shrimp while that fish over there doing what it need to do, and we're just going to coat these shrimp. I'm just gonna lay them right here so they be ready for me. Good morning, Grandma Cooking, and who else came in here I did not speak to? Put a ding on that dong and ring that old bell. That means hit the thumbs up, the like button, family. Welcome to the ones that's new. I'm happy to have y'all. I have a second channel is pinned up above in the blue y'all go ahead and check that second channel out for me when you get time subscribe if you do uh leave a comment let me know if you subscribe so i can welcome y'all to the family that's my cleaning channel y'all that's why i put all my cleaning videos and stuff Hey, Teresa Green. Good morning, boo. Good to see you. Thank you, big baby. Not today. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I'm over here making differences and stuff. That's what I'm talking about. See, that what you're supposed to do. I knew y'all were going to catch on eventually. Get your behind up and get in that kitchen. Get on up. Get on up. I knew y'all going to bitch get tired, honey. Let me go on in here. I got some of this. Let me go on here in here. And, and get this here thawed out while she and her talking so I could be doing this right along with her. I knew y'all was going to catch on. That's what I'm talking about. I know I'm making a difference. I refuse to be hungry today. What you cooking, Davisha? You did my seasoned shrimp. You did how you like it. Did you? Did I season the shrimp? Uh, no. Yeah, with most of the hot sauce. That's it. And I got a seasoned cornmeal. And that's all. But if you season it, just season it with you some complete seasoning or just salt and pepper and a little garlic and onion powder and, and call it a day. And, and that's good enough. Hold on. Let's turn this fish. The simplest seasoning is the best, y'all. If y'all don't try my fried chicken, if y'all try the fried chicken the way that I do it, I'm telling y'all, my best seasoning, the best way I done fried chicken, y'all, 
is with just plain old salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, hot sauce, and mustard. And that's it. That's how I love to season my chicken now, y'all. I don't be going with it in with all them seasonings and stuff like that no more on my chicken because I ain't got to. My, my chicken be good and extra crunchy, especially when you love crunchy chicken. It be good and extra crunchy. Good morning, Miss Gloria. Y'all, this, 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 uh, fried chicken and stuff, I mean, fish and grits, this reminds me of my mama mama. When I used to stay the night with her, she used to love me come stay the night with her. And every morning we got up and my grandma used to cook, cook me some fish and grits. And that's what she ate every single morning. We ain't never eat nothing different. We always ate fish and grits every morning for breakfast. And she'll go out that door and she'll break up her some bread and she'll throw the bread out to the birds in her backyard. And then she'll take me and we'll walk across the next door. She'll go speak to her neighbors next door. And then she'll take me, we'll walk across the street over there to the store and she'll get her something, whatever she was buying, cause I ain't know. Cause she was sending me to go and get what I wanted. And then we got that, I went back home. And me and her used to sit up, and, and we used to sit on her porch all day. Y'all, I miss my grandma. Listen, I was just a little girl. I was just a little girl, but I miss those memories that I had with my grandma. My mom. This is my dad mom that lived with me. It ain't nothing like them, ain't nothing like them grandparents. Nothing like having them around. And I said, I thank God for mine. I thank God for my grandma. Because at least I can say every morning she wake up, I'm thanking him with her. I'm thanking him. I'm going to fry this just a little bit more harder. Look like it needs to be fried hard on this side. Yes, I know y'all do. Thank y'all for ringing that doorbell. Y'all see them little grits? I swear I can't never cook a little bit of grits. Them little grits I thought I put in the pot. When I say ring the doorbell, y'all, that means hit the thumbs up the like button. Pour this fish up.
burning a hole right through the plate. That's the fish. I'm gonna get these shrimp fried first before I do my gravy. I want them fried nice and not too hard. These shrimp right here, because I love when you bite down in them and, you, and they got that nice tenderness to them and they got, you know, they taste good and got that nice shrimp flavor to them. Not too dried out, fried too hard where they don't even taste like a shrimp. The meat tastes like rubble. I like that nice tender meat on the shrimp. To the point where they is just done and not overcooked. It's easy to overcook shrimp, y'all. Let them sit there first because I don't want to knock the uh, flour off of them. The meal. Let that fry. And then after this, those get done, we're gonna work on the gravy for it. Hey, Lee. Hey, Miss Patricia. Anybody else came in here? Hey, Marquita, Marquita, 2017. Tiana, always good to see you and hearing you stay blessed. I like the color light your colors today very fixed of god smiles thank you boo hey shanita if i didn't speak to you too boo the pink salt and the white salt which one the sea salt or the regular table salt what's the difference that honey i still it, I, one is coarser than the other <laughs> i don't really know honestly i ain't, i can't even say but you know they really they 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 say that you really ain't supposed to cook with table salt. I've been doing it for so long. I really, just like, like maybe like uh, two years ago, I, I started cooking with the uh, pink salt. Hey, Miss Latrice. Good morning. So I'm about to get ready to go in and turn these here over. I hate to touch them too soon. Let me give them like another minute. Another few seconds. Just the colors, Tiana. Hold on. What you, what you talking about, uh, uh, Shanita? Alright, so now I'm going to take these here and turn them over. And as soon as they brown just a little bit on this side right here, I'm taking them up. Grandma, you can go ahead and get up for, and get ready for breakfast. Go ahead and get up and get ready for breakfast. I said, go ahead, get up, get ready for breakfast. 
I say go ahead and get up here ready for breakfast. Okay. Oh, just the color. Oh yeah, probably so and the and the texture. Well, no, nine days, honey. Just like all them different olive oils and stuff like that. You buying olive oil and it ain't it ain't what you think it is. You know what I'm saying? So we well, don't know. All the ones that know is the makers. Make them brown and then they cook. Get it on my side of the end. Yeah. Thank y'all for coming. All of y'all that's here. I appreciate y'all for coming. I asked that y'all ring the doorbell. When I say ring the doorbell, that means hit the thumbs up the like button. I have a second channel as well. It's pinned down. It's pinned above. Uh oh, my trunk done, y'all. Baby, done, baby. my shrimp so now what we about to do we want this crumbs and stuff oh yeah we want that Yeah, they was raw shrimp. I want just a little bit back. Not merch. We're going to throw some flour in here. And we're going to start creating us a rule. You can add onions and all that stuff if you want to. I'm not. Okay, I'm gonna let it get brown. Ain't 
and you're just going to let it stir that around and you're going to let it thicken up. Add water to it. Let it thicken it up. Just a little, I mean, to thin it out. I want a nice, light little gravy. So now you season up your gravy. This is what my onion gonna come in at with the onion powder. Like that. Throw me a little complete seasoning in there. And my fish got flavor. Throw a little salt and a little pepper. When your gravy come up to a boil or a simmer, that's how you know how thick it's going to be. Now, just a little bit more. Yes. Mm, 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 mm. Take your fish and put it down in that gravy. Don't fumble it too much because you know fish is tender. But that's why I had you fry it a little extra hard too so it could hold up to the wetness of the gravy. Season your fish the way you want to season it. Make sure you season your cornmeal as well. And do it just like this, y'all. And it's going to be good, I'm telling you. I done did it with catfish before, but not this tilapia, but fish is fish. It's all of the, all of the you. If it was good with catfish, uh, this tilapia thick enough. Do it with whatever kind of fish that you like. It's up to you. Y'all, ain't this fun? Playing around with food. I ain't never seen nobody smother no fish. Maybe you did. But look, ain't nothing wrong with it. You can let it sit if you want to, but I'm not because I want that little extra crisp to it. So we done with that. I might try with the shrimp one day. I, I, I'm gonna I will slid that shrimp in this gravy and see how it tastes. And if it's good, baby, y'all gonna see me come back doing the shrimp too, okay? You never had smothered fish? You gonna try it, girl? Yeah, get a try. It's good. Don't be scared of it. Don't be scared to try it neither. Cause I know y'all, ooh, uh -uh, I'm scared to try that.
That's mine, y'all. You know I told her I gotta have that cheese, baby. Mm. I ain't even cook my eggs, but it's alright. I don't need none. Y'all ever had smothered pork chops and gravy with grits? Hold on, y'all. Gonna take me some shrimp. <coughs> Hi, Tiana. <coughs> hey, boo. I know you can't see it for the for the for the gravy, but smothered fish with some fried shrimp and some grits. That's breakfast, y'all. That is breakfast. So now, dear the Father, thank you, Lord, for this food that we have received, and I ask that there be minimal blessings stored upon us. And God, I ask that if there's anyone in need of a meal, I ask that you bless them with one. And God, I ask that you bless each and every person that's upon the sound of my voice, God. Whatever it is that you need of them, God, I ask that you be there with them and show and let them know that you is by their side every step of the way. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. And God, I ask that you let everybody have a good day today. Amen again. All right. Mouth distance. Okay. See? Still flaky and all of that. Season so good. It's good, y'all. It's good with the tilapia. Mmm. Try him kind of fish. Mmm. Look at that. Mmm. Let's try this shrimp.
Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm gonna do that again. With some shrimp. Mm. One more bite. Y'all, I, I am gonna go. I'm gonna leave. I love y'all. Mm. Y'all let me know if y'all tried it. Peace, love, and many, many blessings to each and every morning, guys. Until next time, two more, y'all, and I'll be going to reach my goal. Two more doorbell rings, and I'll be going to reach my goal. I want to reach my goal. Two more, y'all. That means hit the thumbs up, the like button. Come on, y'all. Mmm, child. Make me want some more gravy, child. Put it on those shrimp. <laughs> Look, I got the pan right there in the sink. <laughs> Girl, I think I'm going to get me some, Okay. Oh, it's going down. I ain't got time. I got to go. All right, y'all. I love y'all. Hey, y'all. It's your girl. It's your sugar. It's your honey bun. It's the only one. I can only be me. Hey, 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 y'all. Good night. Good night. Good night, y'all. I love, love, love y'all. Peace, love, and many, many blessings to each and every one of you. Peace, love. And many, many blessed to each and every one of you. We made it. We made it. We made it to a hundred. Do, do. Oh, we made it. Do. We made it. Do. We made it to a hundred. Do, do. Oh, we made it. Do. We made it. Do. We made it to a hundred. Do, do. Oh, we made it. Do. We made it. Do. We made it to a hundred and three. Thank y'all. I got a second channel. Y'all go over and show my second channel some love. The name of it is Boss Up Cleaning. I thank y'all for coming. I hope y'all try this recipe. If y'all try it, y'all let me know. Okay? I love y'all. And if uh if I decide to come back or if she want to come back, I just got to ask her first. If she decide, then I'm going to come back. But I had thought about it. That's why I'm ending this one because I want this one to be just a cooking video. Okay? All right. I love y'all. Peace.